Any time that I've been really scared of something, I've just walked straight into it. Every time I go to Africa, I am terrified. And I tell people, look, I know I can die. I could be raped. I could be robbed. I have been car hijacked. I've been in tribal conflict. But I know that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And I have to just push that fear aside and walk through it anyways. My name is Nyla Rogers, and I'm the founder of an organization called Mama Hope. We are the bridge in between the resources and the communities that can execute these incredible projects. I was kind of stuck in this place of not feeling that I was making an impact in the world. And in that period of time, my mom got sick with cancer. And she was a really healthy person. It was very shocking, but she had this dream that if she could beat cancer, she could step on a plane because she had never flown out of North America and visit Bernard, an orphan that she sponsored in Kenya. And so we would talk about this and we would plan this trip. And we didn't end up taking it together because she passed away just five months after she, she got sick and it was very quick and very unexpected and devastating. And I, by some crazy circumstance, get offered a job in his village two weeks after she passes away. When I got to his village, what I found was hundreds of people honoring my mother's memory. And I learned that she had given $1,000 to help a community of women start their own businesses. And it had completely transformed the community because it had allowed these women who had not had access to AIDS medicine now to have it. So they were staying alive, their children were able to stay in school, and it just completely changed everything. In all my years of doing international development work, I had never seen something as impactful. And I decided that the reason why that $1,000 was so impactful is it was exactly what that community needed. It was always just about the community. It was never about my mom. And I knew that's what I needed to do. I knew that I needed to go into communities, find really inspiring leaders and fund their projects. And that's how I would make my impact. I think each of us come here with a set of gifts and talents that either are awakened in us or not. And I think that we have paths that we can go down all the time. And some of us are led directly to what we're supposed to be doing in the world and we overcome everything to make sure that we're doing it. And some of us kind of, you know, exist in a way where it's really just about us and our, you know, our lives, our little lives. And so I believe that the meaning of life is to be as big as possible and to really give as much as possible and to not be scared of what's gonna happen. And I think when people can look at something and think it's greater than them, the fear just kind of washes away. And so even if your, your gift is that you'll, you know, something very simple, it doesn't have to be world changing. But if you know that this is something that you do differently than everyone else, you should just be doing it. I think if we all really brought to the table what we can contribute, it would just make things so much more beautiful.